What is going on guys, welcome to the fifth installment in our beginner guide for Crossout. As you can see, I have myself a lovely new paint and that is because one of you guys suggested in the comments that why didn't I just spend the 120 coins that we had from the scanner on a lovely paint or something like that. And to make everything like sort out and spend exactly 120 coins, I bought the armor plates, a brutal zone and then two small spare. We haven't gotten the second one yet, but this, the buy off is still up. I overbid by by some because I just need the money to fit and if I bought two for 270 each that would actually be perfectly 120 coins we had spent then which also means that as you can see I still have 27.56 coins left so I actually have quite a lot of coins left and the reason for that being is that we like I have done a lot of buying and selling of aviators off screen and we actually ended up with quite a lot of coins. Besides that we finished some of the new like new player missions that there is. So basically we, we're left with quite a lot of coins right now and we are also indeed ready to take it to the next step and get our first rare cabin. The cabin that we want to get is the Y one. So let's go ahead and buy the workbench here. Boom, there we go. As you can see, we right now have two doggers. We have zero colts left over and we have zero carjacks. Also, we are missing some cover. So what do we do about this? Well, as you remember, I told you guys to go ahead and actually go and grab some fuel whenever you play. So let's start out by putting up the fuel here for a sell offer. We need the dogger. We have the Avenger. We don't need that. We have some medium wheels we don't need. So we can actually go ahead and sell <clears throat> all of the junk that we don't really need. Let's see. Let's sell all of this as well. Lovely. Let's get into factions here again. Let's see, what do we actually need? We need one more of those. We need two cords. And we need two carjacks. Let's start out by buying the carjacks here two of those there we go get ourselves two colts as well put a buy off up for that and lastly let's go buy a dogger boom nice now we just need some cover and we have just exactly enough enough for the last of the stuff that we need there we go. So basically, we just need the uh, buy order for the dogger to go through, and we are all set. So the buy order just came through, and now we actually have all that we need in order to build our first wagon here. So let's go ahead and produce that one. It takes one hour, so let's go ahead and wait for that one to actually finish. And once that is done, we can uh, move on to the next step. <clears throat> Ready. So it's been about an hour, and I grinded a bit, and I've taken a break, and here it is, the wagon cabin. Awesome. There we go. We actually manufactured a rare part. Beautiful. Beautiful indeed. Let's see. Did we get a new challenge? When five battles is when five battles in missions. Cool. Well, nevertheless, nomads, let's see. What should the next step be from here, you might ask? Well, we wanna we wanna focus on the vector and we wanna focus on the defender. Now we want to be a bit smart about this because the vector, as you can see, can actually be bought for twenty nine ninety nine, and and some of these items might actually be quite like sold for a pretty high price compared to what they actually are crafted for. So let's get a, go ahead and see what we actually have here. Like we have the wagon cabin uh, thirty four, but it is pretty expensive to craft. So is the Don Hose. Like the Don Hose is probably the most expensive to craft, and then we have the Maxwell, which is semi high in price right now as well. So like it seems that the smartest would probably be just to craft the vector in my opinion and luckily we actually have as you can see let's just go to my history so you can see what i've been doing while i was off screen uh we whoops just gotta reset the history here we uh we we got some huntsmen and we got a any radar we got some fuel we got another huntsman so we've been selling it a little bit of items just to to make sure that we keep that income of, of cash flowing which is super dope so we actually still have 17 coins and you know what we are actually going to go ahead and go to the nomads and go straight ahead buy these resources boom there we go buy some colds 0 0.41 remember as i said guys 
never quick buy unless it's like cover and stuff which has a very tiny margin but you're gonna save in the end you're gonna save quite a lot of coins by doing this we're gonna go ahead and then we're gonna buy all of the stuff that we need you might have seen that i actually did i buy an extra vector if i didn't we have to because now we have a 10 energy cabin and i want to see how high we can actually get into power score for the sake of actually being able to go into raid zone so now that we have all of this we can actually make a proper wheel park so that we have like builds for all situations let's just quick buy the avengers since the margin is so small as well because now we can make a dual cannon car we can make a shotgun car and we have a machine gun car so we pretty much have a car for everything that we do need starting out with the let's see with the cannon car because that will be the new thing that we have created in this episode go ahead and grab us a wide frame here let's see grab the avenger cannon beautiful slap that one onto there actually do we like have a connection point we do let's go ahead and do it like that get another frame going here get some medium wheels on looking good there we go get like can we that is gonna look so stupid but it is nevertheless the best we can do right now because as you know guys I've said I've said it before we need six wheels at any time because if we if we actually go ahead and lose a wheel we um, we will be in a pretty rough shape so we want to we want to see if we can actually keep those wheels on for as long as possible now that we are actually getting higher up into the power score i want to go ahead and, and buy us a radio in here basically what the radio is going to do for us is that it's going to help us there's no radio on the deco that's why <laughs> it's going to help us communicate with our teammates if we end up fighting an enemy there we go end up fighting an enemy it's always nice to have a radio because the radio will actually alert our enemies that there's an enemy close to us so they can see the enemy on the minimap if we have that radio active Let's see what do we actually do here we want to just make some like very basic protection for our guns nothing too dramatic but we want something we definitely want something just so that we uh we can keep them protected um there we go looking good pretty well protected the thing is here we are actually buying so much stuff right now is that we we we're getting quite a lot of armor parts right now and we're getting a lot of new items so there will be a lot of new stuff that you will have to get used to so to say and that's in no way a bad thing just uh don't like don't go ahead and just go nuts with the new items and all that stuff you want to be reasonable about it those guns can't fire at all because of these wheels so do we actually have some small wheels we do let's just see if these will not do us quite a lot of better and then we should also have the blade wing by now if you guys have actually followed this so far so let's go ahead and use those to just drop some minor protection there for the wheels yep look at that it gave us a much better gun depression awesome so now we have a dual cannon build which we can hopefully keep somewhere around 2900 power score um in total let's go ahead and do so and see if we can grab ourselves a little bumper here there we go and can we just like slap something on maybe like that beautiful so 2900 power score very ugly looking but efficient nevertheless dual avenger build Let's go ahead and save that. Call it cannon. The reason that we want to make all of these is because we need 
like we need three builds ready because you can get like in these daily missions that we have today was win five battlelands missions using a machine gun rapid fire machine gun minigun or a combat laser but you can also get that for a cannon and you can get it for a shotgun so we want to have a build ready for each so that we can go and deal with our daily missions so having that one we also need the shotgun build and in order to actually do the shotgun build we have to buy the the uh white shotguns but also let's just start the vector here boom so heading back to the market we're actually gonna buy let's see how much this is the power three energy so we're actually gonna buy whoops almost forgot my own rule there three luperas beautiful and then we are also going to buy some white hardware here because now we are actually going to look into the breeze which is um a radiator and the radiator is a nifty thing that will help our guns not overheat as fast we're going to get the breeze because we now have a cabin that has 10 energy so we can actually go ahead and use uh, and use three shotguns on our wiring cabin instead of just sticking with two and then wasting two energy on either a machine gun or something similar so let's grab the uh, wiring cabin here again and also the reason that I didn't really include any um, what is it called the reason that I didn't include any uh, fuel tanks on the last build was simply because the fuel tanks like they they drag up the power score and the power score on the cannon build is, is already by now quite high so we are actually not going to bother about the fuel tank on that one just just yet. We want to we want to stay away from fuel barrels and builds around 3000 3, because it will drag the power scope to 3500 and enemies will easily start getting a bit hard at that power scope. Let's see those guns can all fire. Beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and, and rock with that. Got the radio here looking good and then let's see here we're gonna do the same trick actually where's my wait a minute so I actually accidentally just crafted my small wheels away <laughs> but we're not gonna let that stop us. So there we go. Got those going. We actually need to use a wider frame here. There we go. Now we should be able to. Yep. Lovely. This build is gonna be very functional and a very easy one to run. Indeed. We're still just digging with the small builds there, so we don't like make it too big and fluffy for no reason whatsoever. Let's see, can we actually ammo these up at all? There we go. And we just... We still need some ammo to it. Let's do it like that. And do it like that. Actually, you know what? This is way better. It's not because we don't have what we need. <laughs> Um, we, we, we just wanna we just wanna arm out the guns like pretty well it doesn't really matter how you do it or what you do you just just get some sort of ammo going and, and you like you're fine in most cases god dang it boys I'm missing about this I literally don't even know what parts I'm looking for right now I'm just trying to do something let's go ahead and do that because <laughs> that looks stupid which is nice and then maybe something like that because why not again using the blade wings here to protect those wheels super dope and also I feel like we should maybe work just just a bit on this front right here there we go we actually have something that looks like a car front with a bit of imagination but it's there it's there and you guys know it 
And let's grab the uh, radiator grill here. Can we slap that on somehow? We can. Nice. Let's rock with that. And then let's just add a fine little touch of like detail right here. We might want to protect out. We might run and protect our frames just a little bit. Do we only have one single slope? We only have one slope, but we can use this one on the other side. There we go. Nice. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We're still we're still needing just a tiny bit more, like right there and right there. So we got that now. And what else do we need? We could actually you know protect protect the 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 rear gun here just a tiny bit more. There we go. Something to block the shots from there. And that's pretty much a shotgun car. It's still not pretty, but it's pretty functional. And again, note that since we're using the uh, the bigger cabin here, the Y-Wing cabin, we are actually not going to go ahead and mount the the uh, the fuel tanks once again. We are going to keep only the fuel tanks on this build because we can actually squeeze it into 2500 power score with fuel tanks and four cords. And the four cords are going to do just fine, really. So now we have three builds here. And we are actually ready to grind any mission that will be thrown at us, which is super cool. So, yeah. I want to round off the episode here and say thank you for joining once more in this episode. It was the fifth episode today. Next time we are going to go ahead and squeeze our power score over 4,000 so that we can actually enter the next tier of raids. And we can start farming something like wires. Looking at the first stuff that we need for crafting epic items. Just three episodes in, guys. No, five episodes in. So I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry for sounding a bit tired today, but I am actually tired as shit so it's what it is until next time have an awesome day bye